Unicorn Hunters is not a financial advisor or broker. It showcases potential unicorns on its show, but we do not make any representations or guarantees about their future value. All investments have significant risks. If you choose to invest in a company presented on Unicorn Hunters, it will be between you and the company. Get ready, world, for a whole new way to invest. Introducing the Unicorn Hunters. We are talking about a cultural and economic shift. A savvy group of investors whose only job is to provide an unvarnished assessment of who they think can become the next unicorn. Still trying to come up with an idea of what actually your product is. Sex sells, my friend, sex sells. <laughs> what would you do with that extra $20 million? Meet the circle of money. Our unicorn hunters, Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple. I am in and I'm going to invest. Mo Vella, attorney, business consultant, and two-term White House senior advisor. Everyone has a place at the table. Sylvina Moschini, international entrepreneur and CEO of SheWorks. I believe in you and I'm going to invest. Lance Bass, boy band phenom, businessman, and venture fund investor. One word I love is disruptive, and this is that. Scott Livingston, a securities expert known on Wall Street. Rosie Rios, financial wizard and former treasurer of the United States, with her signature on over $1.7 trillion of U.S. currency. This could be a game changer for a lot of families. Alex Konyanikin, a serial entrepreneur, author, and CEO of Transparent Business. I'm going to invest. Together with you, they're on the hunt for the next unicorn. Today, we're creating new stories for new people, new opportunities for new investors. And for those of you at home who have always felt like you don't have access to early stage investments, I think you're gonna find that the Unicorn Hunters can be a game changer in giving you access to these opportunities. But you always have to remember not to overextend yourself or risk funding that you can't afford to lose. So make sure that you've taken the time to explore the Unicorn Hunters website and to do your own due diligence. All right, enough talk. Mount up. Let's hear more about this unicorn. Yes! yes. yes. Lauren Funda spent a decade working on Wall Street as a U.S. government bond broker at Whitaker Securities, at Deutsche Bank in Synthetic Equities, and at Cloudview Capital Management. Lauren is a two-time All-American field hockey player who is turning her love of sports into a forward-thinking, technology-driven unicorn at the center of a rapidly increasing market in private label health and fitness. Hey guys, my name is Lauren Fundos and I'm the founder and CEO of Forte. For the last year, gyms around the world have been closed or forced to operate at reduced capacities, making virtual offerings a must for gyms to connect to their communities. Even before the pandemic, gyms were wasting capacity. They have the content and community, but they lack the technical prowess to even begin building a digital platform and leveraging the power of their brick and mortar presence and brand. And that's why I created Forte. Forte is a tech company that enables gyms to create a premium digital experience. We have developed a fully automated proprietary hardware and software streaming solution for gyms to leverage. We are powering the biggest names in fitness, from the UFC to the YMCA from the United States to Canada, Europe, and beyond. The digital fitness opportunity is huge. Pre-pandemic, 67% of US gym goers also said that they worked out at home with the digital platform, Today, 83% of active Americans say they will continue to work out at home post-COVID. And the biggest opportunity and the one that inspires me the most to every day to build this company is the fact that 75% of Americans still do not work out at all. And streaming is the ideal entry point for those people to start working out and gain the confidence to ultimately go to the gym. 
Okay. Gyms need to offer an omni-channel membership in order to engage and survive and thrive in this new world. We're landing all these amazing customers because of our technology and the fact that it's so unique. Our tech is our secret sauce, which we spent over three years developing. We can get a gym live with a premium digital platform and integrated into their website app, look like their own platform, like they built it, and into their booking system within two weeks. Wow. We then build and customize our hardware and software for them and integrate it into their space for them so they can seamlessly live broadcast. From there, we hardwire three to five cameras in the gym walls and we put a server there on site. That server then operates as the producer. So let's say the class is scheduled to go off at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, our automation will wake up all five cameras, rotate around for that specific class at that time, and then shut itself off at the end of class. We call this automation that we've developed our Autobot. So it live streams all day, every day, hundreds of classes from around the world with no human operators. All of the classes are streamed live and then immediately rendered for on-demand consumption thereafter. Wow. So if gyms are often using things like Vimeo, Livestream, Ustream, Ustream, YouTube, Zoom, there's plenty of them. They're just video hosting platforms that you can use with a paywall. They're not interactive fitness platforms. So everyone's trying to create a premium digital experience today, fast in a high quality way and service their community. And that's exactly what we do. So we're fortunately in the right place at the right time. <laughs> We started launching this product in Q1 of this year. We have 15 customers live and are onboarding a large list and launching more thereafter. We do zero marketing and PR, and we have thousands of inquiries in our HubSpot of people reaching out to us because we are simply the only guy that can do what we can do. So we're just going through that list of people. Our signed clients that are either launched or preparing to launch have over 10 million end users in the United States alone. Wow. And we're just getting started. We're looking to work with gyms that have large, large membership bases of hundreds of thousands to millions of members to start, obviously to gain a lot of ground very quickly. Prior to founding the company, I spent a decade working on Wall Street, institutionally trading government bonds. It's nothing to do with fitness, but I live and breathe it. I was a two-time All-American field hockey player, played in the US program, played for the national team, played for the number one division one team in college. So working out fuels the core of my existence, and we aspire to make others enjoy it just as much. I'm here today because we are raising $20 million at a $70 million pre-money valuation. And this funds will be used to scale the team, to onboard more aggressively through our pipeline. And honestly, we have more demand than we can fulfill. We have a first mover advantage and we wanna keep running with that as we continue to roll out these industry power players. So it's game time, who's with me? That was incredible. Okay. <laughs> so if I heard you correctly, it's $10,000 per gym? Per location. So some, like a big brand with a thousand locations will set up kind of one in each time zone in LA and New York and their main cities. For the gyms, they didn't want to evolve. They were stuck in their ways. I always used to use the example of Blockbuster. I'm like, they had a lot of brick and mortars and we don't go to the Blockbuster anymore. And so this has forced the gyms to adapt to what the consumer behavior was. And they were going to sit back and, and not do that without you know the current year that we've just lived through. Yeah, I mean, you have to evolve. L Lauren, you got me wanting to exercise. I, I hope and so. And so I'm just like, that is probably your greatest accomplishment, Lauren. That, all right, that's it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take my Spanx off and okay. start <laughs> moving. All right, I'll do some push-ups so, with you right but now. I'm just thinking of market opportunity here, right? Correct. Globally, obviously yep. this is global. How many fitness centers or gymnasiums are there around the world? Do we have an estimate of yep. how many there are? There's over 200,000 around the world. Wow. Okay. So to hit our projections, we need to have 100 this year, 375 the following year, and 730, and we're making almost $100 million. That leaves a lot of gyms left too. Yeah, I was about to say. The service, everybody's trying to create a high quality digital platform online, whether a million different verticals reach out to us. We're very focused on fitness, but this opportunity is much, much bigger than just this current market. This really resonates with me because I am one of those people that during the pandemic learned to start taking classes. And yep. I don't know if I will return to a gym anymore. Yep. One question I have on the music licensing. For Explain sure. to me uh, how you're gonna be able to use the music again. Basically, when you save videos on demand, it becomes really complicated. Pre-pandemic, gyms didn't create content because they just didn't know what to do with the music. So they'd look into it and they'd either like put up videos with no music or just like get scared and walk away. And so we have a couple solutions that we offer. 
One is a production catalog. And then we use another service, which is basically internet radio. So we don't pick the song, but we create this overlay where they'll be like, the first 10% of class is classic rock, 65 beats per minute. Then it's going to be dance, and then it's going to be pop. And so they pick the vibe of the class, and then it will pick the song. And then the grand and long-term plan is to be able to do deals with the labels, to be able to sub-license. People want to have an in-sync ride. They want to have That's those right. in-sync songs. Yeah. They don't just want to have some songs they don't know. We do have great workout music. So, I mean, I we could do our own deal. If I can jump in, you know, I really want to focus on costs for a second. For sure. But before I do, let me just congratulate you, because Thank this you. definitely beats trading treasuries on Wall Street. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> but regarding cost, you talked about the onboarding uh, fees and, and, and the, the revenues, but what's the cost of setting up a gym? In terms of the hardware situation, it's usually between five and 10K, depending on the amount of cameras that they have. And then from the per user fee, in that $5 per user is the Microsoft Azure, the video storage, the servers, the databases, all things that come into with that. Our two-way video costs, the music licensing, depending on which music licensing options that they pick, and then obviously a margin for the company. And more importantly, are you profitable? Do you care about being profitable? Or is this grab as much market share as you can, even if you're losing money, because the profits will come later? We certainly want to grab as much market share as possible. We're doing that by getting the largest clients. We think we'll be break even by Q3 of this year. We want to do the smaller one-off studios. We want to start with the middle, but we need to be do it more cost-effectively, and we want to get there faster. But we're starting so to ensure that we have that market share. Lauren, you were suggested for participation in this show by Microsoft. Correct. That's quite an endorsement. How else do they support your growth? Microsoft is actually instrumental in us getting started. So to basically just test this before we even knew that it could work would have cost us hundreds of thousands of dollars. They have a really great startup program that was instrumental in helping us get started. So without that, we would have never been able to get to this hurdle. I'm not a serial entrepreneur. I couldn't just go out and raise $10 million with this great idea on a napkin. And so we needed to be able to get started. So they were really instrumental in helping us, you know, just continue on to try to create, you know, more sound infrastructure that works more cost effectively. So that was. You said that 75% of people do not work out. Correct. In the world or this country. In this country. Um, you had to remind me. Like yeah. <laughs> One of them is sitting right here. <laughs> that's a big number. Uh, how do you plan on trying to get some of that market? Yes. The main reason that people don't work out and people always say, I'll go to the gym when I lose 50 pounds. It's scary to go to a new class by yourself without knowing the drill. So it's that real hurdle to just get people comfortable what goes on in there. We actually built this feature for with a two-way video where I can choose to show my video only to the trainer. So this way I can connect with the trainer. I can see what goes on in that like class. That. Yeah, and nobody else can see. And then as I get more confident, I can friend you and show my video to you and you and keep that. everybody else blocked out. So then they can build this crew and eventually hopefully show it to everybody and then have the confidence to go to the gym. Um, sounds like you've got all the business running. You're already operational. Correct. You've got the, uh, the service, the hardware and software established. My gosh, that's not just a plain old software play. No. And the engineering, I am just in so much admiration of it. I can build the hardware myself now. I Lauren, Lauren, <laughs> revel in this mo moment. <laughs> Steve Wozniak just told you he admired your engineering. So I want to know, do you have anything that can show us what this feels like or looks like. Definitely, yeah, that will probably help. I mean, I can lead a workout if you guys want. But oh, oh my God. Let's go. Show you what we got Let's go. <laughs> so this is a Canadian gym chain. They have 19 locations. The platforms look like their own. They're integrated into their site, to their platform, however they want. We roll them out apps and stuff like that as well. So these are streaming all day, every day. These are the leaderboards. All they have to do is go in there and start and stop at the same time. So if somebody's actually in a class, when you take it on demand, we can turn on our videos and see each other too. So that's pretty fun. And if you're there, I can chat with you. Social media does a great job of sucking a lot of people's time. So we try to use all those same premises, but to make people work out and be healthy. So if I follow you and you sign up for a class, then I get a notification that you're working out. Let's be clear. Rosie can work out with Lance. <laughs> Totally, we can all see each other. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Lauren, what are you doing in connecting the dots between software, data, biometrics, and, and trackers? Like, for example, you have fit trackers that give you some key performance indicators on how you are doing in terms of your body functions. Following. Yeah, you can connect your Apple Watch, your Garmin, your Fitbit, Polar, all those devices. So the wearables are really important to show people that their heart's working more efficiently, that the workouts are working, that their sleep is improving, that it's still really good for them is the thing that we want to be able to use that data for. Lauren, 
trying to get personal. So my mom just had her second stroke. Yep. Do you see this type of application in hospitals, in rehab, something where my mom wouldn't have to leave her home? Totally. PT is something that a lot of our gyms actually are going to be offering soon through the platform. We are actually working with a cooking school that's based in Japan that's very large. Um, they reached out to us and we're like, this is exactly what we want, minus the heart rate <laughs> tracking. And so we have been very focused in fitness, but the opportunity is much bigger. The verticals that we'll go into immediately are sports because all the language, everything is very similar. So kids sports camps, it's a big business. They're now having these camps virtually that they didn't used to have. And, and it's opening up more opportunities for people uh, to see the it. The first few million are the hardest. And you already had $7 million in revenues. First of all, is it 2020 revenues or? Uh, 2020, 2021, we expect to do 7 million and 2022, 30 million. And how have you financed your growth? So we've raised 6.9 million to date. Um, initially I self-funded because I had never started a company and just did. Um, then we raised friends and family and we've now done two previous institutional rounds and two safes led by 76 Capital. We have a bunch of venture funds involved. And now hopefully we're really here to accelerate that. I will not stop until we make this a success. Well, Lauren, you have given us a lot to think about and we thank you. And we're gonna ask you to step away for just a few minutes while we discuss your business in private. Okay, and you are gonna work out after this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Being a female founder, female funding goes to less than 2% of the companies. And so we certainly get slim pickings. And so an opportunity like this really exposes us to a unique way of funding and, and really kind of breaks the barriers that have always existed in sort of a male dominated venture funding world. So Panel, what do you think? Are there any negative comments? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, when we say that we like to invest in people, that's what we're talking about right yeah. there. That is the epitome of that. Precisely. Her energy was contagious. I'm absolutely certain she is going to be successful. It's quite impressive. Now, I have questions that I want to ask her. She said there's lots of competition. She said there's lots of new competitors coming in. And then she said that there's no competition. This is going to be a competitive market. And so we need to learn more about that. Well, I agree. And for me, it's really the future of gyms. How are people looking at that today, post-pandemic? Fair point, but come on. I need her services. If I do, I'm sure there are millions I other than you too. too, okay? So number two, how big is the market opportunity? Without even talking about schools and physical therapists and all these 200,000 gyms and fitness centers around the world, market opportunity is big. To me, she checked off all the boxes. I believe the opportunity is huge. The technology is super scalable. She knows her thing, she knows her number. She presented a very solid case and she is determined to make it a success. There was two things that I like to hear a lot. One was data, 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 because there's so many businesses that it's all about the data. And the other thing I like to hear is she's not gonna sell the data, yeah. which really made mm. me feel comfortable. Yeah. So good I point. thought that was great really answer. Mm -hmm. We all witnessed her incredible leadership abilities, but I like the fact that she came about it on her own money. Yeah. You know, yeah. had an idea, yeah. thought it out, and turned it into something real. Yeah. So she has real passion for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. She really, really have the gut, so I do celebrate that as well. We should bring her back. Let's, Let's do, it. do it. Let's do it. Well, Lauren, you've given us a lot to think about, Thank but now you. we're gonna give you 60 seconds to make a pitch to our global investors. Let's count it down now. We're in the right place at the right time. Obviously the pandemic has been catastrophic, but it has supercharged the business. It has moved the velocity of this market. And I think people are ignoring that these gyms in the US alone have 60 million members, and those are our clients. And we already have captured 10 million of those, and we're just a couple months into rolling this out. So it's the opportunity of a lifetime. I think that, you know, I couldn't be more passionate about this, and I will not stop until we succeed. So I hope that you guys give me a shot and join this ride. It's super exciting, and we will definitely be a unicorn, that's for sure. That's all I got. Whew. <laughs> Other than that, I'm just probably going to get my own workout in, so don't mind me, guys. <laughs>
Mo, join Lance, us. Lance, you want to cut his Lance? I'm going to go for one. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Circle of money, it's time to make our move. Mo, what would you say? Lauren, you know what? I believe in you. I appreciate it. Oh that. my God, do I believe in you. You are kicking ass. That's Thank all you there so is much. to it. I will never bet against Lauren Fundus. I appreciate that. Well, what can I say? You almost made me cry. You are everything that is right in this world. You are Thank an you. amazing role model for many more women out there. Congratulations. I'm also in your team. You have Thank my you. vote. Thank you so much. And I will so support much. you in any way I can. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And I know you work out. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I can already see that. <laughs> Lauren, I really, really want you to succeed. But uh, I'm, this was a lot to process. From a consumer perspective, is America going to be ready to spend that money? But I think the other piece of this is you are a perfect intersection of passion, purpose, personality, and power. In fact, when Waz was talking about support and you kept referring to manpower, no, 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 this is Lauren Power. True. <laughs> I really want the public to do their own homework, but what I've heard so far is enough for me. I'm going to commit. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the vote of confidence. Well, that was rare for her. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Lauren, because I'm a Wall Street person, I have clients and people that I'll be talking to about this investment, and I will encourage them all to go on the website to do their own due diligence and make their own choices. First of all, I have to say the workout from home trend is going to be a competitive market. A lot of businesses have been transformed since the pandemic. But I do think that uh, you are, are, are a great entrepreneur, so I'm excited to see your future and see how we can be a part of it. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. And let those guys know, I used to wear a Wall Street suit too with cuff links, so just change my wardrobe now. I, I used to be I, one of those I guys. I see you, I see you. This is way more Now I'm more Lance Bass. That's right. <laughs> Warren, I'm honored to have met you. I see a lot of startup CEOs and the like, and they don't make a presentation that's real strong and thorough, like some top communications people and big CEOs of big companies. Checked off everything for me, the huge market. When COVID came, everyone I knew, uh, they were missing their gyms. Totally. And I haven't heard of anything like what you have. No. So I'm totally in, I'm committed. Wow. Oh, <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you so much. I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm speechless, which doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Lauren, you are the definition of a winner, and I like winners. Your energy is infectious, and we all know, you know, the key to success is preparation meets opportunity. You are so prepared, and you have such a huge opportunity right now. I mean, this is an easy one for me. I am so in on this. Uh, I think I can be a great strategic investor here with my connections to the sports world, to mm -hmm. the Barry's Boot Camp type people. So for sure. this is something I think I can really help with. I'm so pumped. Thank you so much. Yeah. Lauren, there are different approaches to investing. Some invest emotionally, other analytically. No success can be guaranteed. As for me, I'm definitely going to invest in your project. I appreciate that. Count me among your supporters. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Wow. And I'm actually going to give her a standing over here. Oh, thank you so much, guys. I feel super emotional and so grateful for this. We are totally in sync. <laughs> I've been waiting to use it. Uh, I love it. Lauren, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I love it. That was love definitely it. fun. Yes. That just gave me so much energy. I want to do another one now. <laughs> you know, at the end of the presentation also, she named some of her investors. And I happen to know some of those investors. Yeah. And they really are fabulous. Yeah. Her energy was contagious. For me, it's really the future of gyms. I definitely think that Unicorn Hunters is more advantageous than the traditional VC route. And I definitely appreciated the females up there, their support, you know, female funded companies don't get as much funding and that's a fact. And so to have their support and everybody on the panel support was really just a super awesome experience. Forte will certainly become a unicorn company. That, that I'm certain of. I won't stop until it does. Thank you.
Thank you, panel, for all your decisions. And thank you to our global viewers and investors for watching and being part of this game-changing financial community. Stay connected to us on social media. And remember, there are other great companies in the pipeline. Until we meet again, what are we? Unicorn Hunters is not a financial advisor or broker. It showcases potential unicorns on its show, but we do not make any representations or guarantees about their future value. All investments have significant risks. If you choose to invest in a company presented on Unicorn Hunters, it will be between you and the company.